Today we are going to discuss about the Roman numeral system. This is a little different than our modern uh, number system like we, we generally use uh, 1, 2, 3, you know, 4. This number system we follow in our mathematics. But uh, in ancient Rome people used to use this Roman numeral system still in our uh, modern time. And right now also, in this present time also, we use this Roman numeral in many different ways like uh, giving the name, uh, like uh, uh, last time, yes, uh, a movie name, Mission Impossible, you know, you might have seen like this, M-I third, Mission Impossible third, like this, you know, so it's a movie name, but what, what, does, what does this mean? This means three actually, Mission Impossible three, all right, like M M I Mission Impossible second, all right, instead of, you can write M I two also, right, you can write M I two, uh, you, you can write in this way also, M I four, like M I M I uh, four, so in different ways, giving names or uh, even in your clock, in your house, if you have the clock, you might see uh, many. There are many types of the clock, but some clocks I have seen like this also. Like uh, this is twelve, right? So X I I, and here one, here two, here three. You know, like this here four, here five, and then six. Like this, you might have seen some clocks, right? And uh, in in chemistry we use this a lot while uh, naming the uh, chemicals and you know in many 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 places you have to use this uh, means in further uh, many many different ways of uh, using this roman numerals you will be learning uh, sometime for numbering also like if your mom is saying hey write down the three names of the animals then what do you write uh, the first one instead of writing one some people write like this one all right or simply say one uh, suppose uh, tiger all right and then Second, second one we give, and then we write suppose uh, deer, all right. So there are many ways of uh, uh, using this Roman numerals, and we we need to use those. So let's learn what is Roman numerals and how to use them properly. So first, I'm going to tell you we have seven symbols we use here. Instead of writing numbers, we like we have ten digits here in a new number system from zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, as we have in uh, modern number system. Similarly, in Roman numeral system, we have seven symbols, symbol seven alphabet. You can say those we must have to learn, just like learning the first uh, ten digits. Here we need to learn first uh, uh, the few uh, symbols, right? And the first symbol is I. This I represents one. Okay, and then you need to learn five. This V represents five. Keep in mind, all right? Similarly. X. X represents 10. After that, you need to learn L. This capital L represents 50. And then C. This C represents 100. And then D. This D represents 500. And after that, M. This M represents 1000. All right, so this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven uh, symbols you must have to learn. All right, once you learn these seven symbols, then you're going to blast this Roman numeral system. You can easily understand. It's very simple if you know this. Uh, you learn it by writing three, four times, or five times, or any time you write, or just you read. Or if anyhow you try to learn this, once you learn, we'll be going further. All right, now see, uh, there are few few rules I'm telling you keep in mind that right the first thing I'm telling you uh, this I I'm talking about this I alright and then I'm talking about this X alright this one and then I'm talking about this C alright and then I'm talking about M this can be repeated can be repeated keep in mind how many times can be repeated maximum three times. Alright? This I, X, C, and M can be repeated maximum three times. Okay, this is your first rule you must have to learn. And the second thing I'm going I'm just gonna tell you uh, in this five, right? And then in L, alright, and in C also, in C, and again in this D, all right, and again in M. In these things, I uh, I'm not going to prefer. Uh, 
similarly you can you can go for the x also right x also in this uh, suppose one two three four we have now here six you can add uh, one also but in i what happens we just we can add only we'll we'll talk about this these things later right uh, now see in this if any of this uh, six is here suppose in this box any of the six I'm adding I'm writing here it may be V here it may be L it may be C it may be D it may be M or X anything it can it can be all right keep in mind if after the, that symbol after V L C D M or X after this if I'm writing anything here if I'm writing anything here that means plus but what can be added I will tell you later but if I'm adding here then it means uh, if I'm putting here anything then it means plus alright and if I'm writing this side then it means minus keep in mind alright so left side left side minus and in right side if you're writing that's plus keep in mind anything I'm writing in right side that will be added alright and if I'm writing in the left side that will be subtracted but what can be added and what can be subtracted that's another matter that I will, I will talk later alright now see here uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to discuss one by one I will discuss later suppose if I'm talking about uh, let's first talk about V what can be added in uh, in front and in what can be subtracted from the V now see in V we can plus what we can plus we can add in the uh, in the front we can add I right how many times you can write I already told you can write three times means this is your five and if you're if you're writing one it means uh, this this five means V and this one means uh, I so what it's going to be V I all right so six means I'm writing here it means I'm doing plus keep in mind similarly if it is your five if you're writing in the left side of that right left side of that what does it mean you're subtracting so here it means I have subtracted minus 1 here all right it means it means I have subtracted minus 1 so from 5 if I'm subtracting 1 it means I'm writing 4 this kinds of things you need to learn so first I'm going to write till 10 okay and further I'll I'll tell you the rules and I'll I'll I will write the examples also. I will tell you the rules and I will write, write the examples also. So it will be very comfortable for you. So to learn first 0 to 10, uh, this is enough. All right. So first I am telling you here, in Roman numeral, for 0 there is no place. We don't have 0. Okay. In Roman numeral, we don't have a method of writing 0. We start from 1. It means Roman numeral is just standing for, uh, just we can use this for the natural numbers. So Roman numeral, we can use for natural number. You can keep this in your mind. All right. Not for the whole numbers, integers or all negative integers or positive integers. These we don't write. All right. Uh, okay. So we, we 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 don't. We just use this for the natural numbers. Now the first one, one. That's pretty simple. One. Some people use I also. You can use um. You can use the uh, smaller alphabet also. That's that's okay. For the two. For the two, I told you. If you're adding uh, in the right side here, also same like like I told you know, just uh, like if if I'm talking about I, for the I especially you can just add in the right side. You cannot uh, add anything in the left side. You can't. For the one you can't write in the left side, but you can add in the right side. Okay, so I, and if I'm writing in the right side means I'm writing two. Now I need to write three. So what I'll write one, two, and three. Because if I'm putting in the right side, it means I'm adding, all right? And now four. Now in four, what I'm I'm thinking, I'm first writing one, and then I'm writing three one one continuously. Okay? Is that simple, right? Writing three i together. But my brother and sister, what I had told you just before this, that maximum times three times, you know, i x c and m can be written maximum three times together. But here I'm writing four times, including this. So what 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 I'm doing I'm making something wrong I cannot write this four I together this is going to be wrong so we have another method for this and what another method that you're very familiar that is writing first five and then in the left side subtracting one means in left side if I'm writing anything it means I'm going to subtract just here I told you I write first five here and then I subtract a one I got four and now for the five we have 
uh, on specified symbol that is 5 all right v v is the 5 and then i need to write 6 so what i will do now i have 5 and if i will add 1 then i will get 6 but to add 1 what do we have to do yes we have to write in the right side you know uh, after the v you need to write 1 so now let's write 7 to write 7 first you write 5 and then 6 and then 7 because we have the uh, we have the rules to write i three times you know we can write this one three times together in roman numerals so now let's write about 8 we can write i three times so it's very easy one time two time three time so it is 5 6 7 and 8 it's going to be added one by one it is going to be added and now it's 9 so again if I'm going to add 1 here and if I'm suppose if I'm going to add 1 here you might be thinking it's going to be 8 but not it's not it's not it's not we cannot write i three times so for that what we'll be doing yes we have x x means 10 I already told you right x means 10 and here instead uh, here we have x suppose now we have x and if i'm writing here i then it means i'm subtracting something because i told you in the left side if i'm adding anything that means subtraction but what we can be added what we can subtract and what we can add that we're going through one by one all right so it's 10 and if i'm writing in the left side it means i'm subtracting one all right so this is now 9 and now this is 10 so uh, again i'll write 10 that's simple now in the next video we'll be learning uh, 10 after 10 we'll be learning all all right and after 10 it's very easy first you know uh, just you know we'll be just adding this uh, these things uh, just these things we'll be adding it's very easy uh, check out in the next video all right